Hey guys, Monster here, and today I have a video for you on a EDC bag slash EDC pocket dump for you, and I figured why not combine the pocket dump with the uh, EDC bag update, and the camera's a little weird because I have to have my phone plugged in as I do this, so I apologize for the weird angle. I hope you like the Christmas background, um, figured why not be a little festive, but let's get into it because uh, I feel like it's going to be a little bit longer of a video for you guys, so strap in, grab a beer, grab a coffee. Let's get into it. Um, knife for today. My wife picked out the, my knife for today because I have been, I have been, I don't know if you guys can hear me when I step away to get the shit off my bed, but uh, I have been mainly carrying three knives consistently for work and when I'm not at work, but the knife my wife, my, the knife my wife picked today is uh, the Buck Spitfire that she ironically got me, so she picked that out for me to carry today on my day off. I'm work Monday through Friday so I'm off on the weekends but the knife I carry at work is a knife I have to be very discreet and you know concealable with and I needed a knife a knife that was thin lightweight small that I could you know have a deep carry black pocket clip and the bug out fit that for me I just wasn't about to spend 150 bucks for it on Blade HQ 140 whatever it is I think that's way overpriced for what it is um, I got it for 99 bucks for Black Friday through Blade HQ and I figured hey Let's give Benchmade a second try because I've had horrible experiences with Benchmade with blade play and things like that and just not being able to tune the knives properly and spending hours trying and just giving up. So bug out's perfect for work. It's small. I, can, I mean, this is like 1.8 ounces. It's under two ounces for an S30V blade. Decent size knife too. I mean, definitely not a hard to use knife, but I've seen people trying to abuse these things and it's pretty hard to break them, surprisingly. I know people talk about the flexible handles, but doesn't bother me one bit. I, I like FRN, so it doesn't bother me. But on my days off, uh, I've mainly been carrying the same two pocket knives, and that has been the Police 4 Lightweight. Definitely overkill of a knife, but definitely probably one of my favorite knives in general, just because of the size. And the Manix 2XL. I absolutely am in love with these knives. And, uh, I can close it. Absolutely in love with these knives great big tactical folders and I will never be getting rid of them. I am waiting for that uh, <coughs> Knife Joy exclusive if it ever comes in the mail. <laughs> Knife Joy. Uh, I'm waiting on that to come in the mail. Yeah, Green Para 2. For whatever reason, I was lucky enough to snag one. I don't know how, but I was lucky enough to get one. Uh, it was kind of a bullshit launch. If you were trying to get one, you know what I'm talking about. I have never, I almost every Spyderco exclusive that has come out within the last five years, I've been trying to get my hands on every one. Every natural G10 one from Blade HQ, the DLG trading ones, I've never been able to get one. And so, getting this green PM2 one, the PM2 is my favorite platform in a Spyderco knife or any knife. You notice I really don't carry it much. I actually have put the uh, deep carry clip from this on that, so I might be able to start carrying that at work because the PM2 is. I've considered selling all my knives and just buying paramilitary twos because I just love the knife that much. And when I get this green pair too, I might just do that. So, and I've never had something in 20 CV, so I figured I'd give it a try. But let's move on. Keys. You'll notice, this is really bugging me at not being centered, but there's nothing I can do. I have to have the like, phone plugged in because it likes to die when I record videos. Anyways, Victorinox is holding up. Love that green color. Rescue me tool. Haven't lost it yet. Jeep key still on there. I might get a green cover for that. Excuse me. Uh, you notice the O light's missing. Well, it's right here. I think this thing has a horrible design flaw to wear of the twist. I mean, it's a cool, innovative thing. I definitely love this light. I think it's probably one of the best lights for its size with the brightness of it. With what it does with the AAA, you can really feel the heat coming off it when you put it up against your skin. Um, but I went to go use it the one day and it was completely twisted off. And I don't know, just from rubbing up against my body if it just finally twisted enough off, but I, I don't know. I think it's a horrible design feature. And some people swear by these till they're blue in the face, which is fine. If that piece of gear works for you, that's fine. But it doesn't work for me. It, it doesn't. I don't like it, which sucks. I was using this more than my main light, so I might just throw this in a pocket just to have on me. But as you'll see in the bag, I'm much slimmed down. I might throw this in my bag, but I'm definitely going to throw these into the giveaway. I have everything for the giveaway now. It's just... I'm waiting until after Christmas. I'd like to wait so the shipping and all that isn't as screwed up because USPS during this time of year, I mean, I'm not that stupid to try and ship something. Not saying that people that do are, I just, I would rather wait. So 
Uh, anyways, one of these will be going in the giveaway, and I will be giving one of these to my friend. So, cool little ass almost drop it. It's a cool little light, but just not for me. Moving on to the wallet. Still rocking that Bellroy, man. Can't, 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 can't not get it out of my pocket. Yeah, can't not. My English teacher would be proud. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I haven't done I have not had enough coffee. I haven't had a Red Bull yet today. Maybe that's why. But still rocking the Bellroy. I love that it is starting to form to the cards. It is not RFID blocking, which kind of sucks, but I threw some RFID cards in there. So it is RFID blocking. Um, love the color of genuine leather. It's starting to mold to the cards, as you can see. Just a great little wallet. I don't like how it doesn't zipper all the way. It just kind of stops right there. I don't I don't really like that. I wish they would just put some leather there just so it would stop. And I've noticed it does like to open in the pocket. If you like have it on this side and you're moving, it will rub up and open. So you know, I've learned if I put it like this in my pocket, it doesn't open, you know, knock on fake wood table. So anyways, there's the Bellroy wallet. It's about 60 bucks on Amazon. I think it's well worth it. Still rocking my Nightcore. Definitely a huge light, but I like it. 18650 battery, USB rechargeable, multiple modes. I keep it on the 300 lumen setting just because that's that's what I prefer. But I have been using the, uh, the uh, second setting, which is, I think, 100 lumens. I think it goes Moonlight, which is like 20 lumens. I don't know the exact lumens, guys. But the second setting or the third setting is what I use it on. This is the MH12 GT. Definitely a great light. I need a light with a uh, clicky tail cap. That's another reason why I'm not a big fan of O-lights anymore is I need one with a clicky tail cap. That's just pull it out of my pocket and use it. I carry it on the left side. So it's just what I do. I don't know. I like the flashlight. It's pretty cool. Um, only other thing I really carry on my person is my Joker bandana. As you guys have seen a million times on this channel. It's a badass bandana. And I've been carrying a clipper later lately. I don't smoke anymore, but... I like it because they're refillable, and if I these run out, I can still use the thing to uh, throw sparks. I like that. So it has a little bit more of a survival feature. I don't know if they last as long as Bic lighters. I still carry a Bic lighter in my bag. You'll see that. But I figured I'd give Clipper lighters a try. That's it for my particular person. Um, I'm going to talk about an EDC tray real quick because if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see that I have an EDC table instead of a tray. It's like a little end table that I keep all my cool little knickknacks on along with my gear and I was at Tractor Supply and I saw this sitting there and I was like that's fucking cool now it's small to be an EDC tray but I'm a big fisherman I, my favorite thing is largemouth bass I love catching them it's my favorite thing to go for it's pretty much all I go for if I can and I saw this thing sitting there and it's I think it's a uh, really lightweight ceramic or plastic and it's really cool it's a little largemouth bass, bass dish I don't know what exactly it's called. Fishbowl. That's literally what it's called. It's a fishbowl. $15.99. I thought it was worth it. I thought it was really cool. You can even see some of the paint starting to come off because I've really been using it. It's pretty badass for $16. Bucks. I thought it was pretty badass. Um, again, I'm a big fisherman, big bass fisherman, so it kind of fit me and fit my personality a little bit more. So I grabbed it, and I think it's pretty cool. You've seen it in some of my pictures if you follow me on Instagram. Um, let's talk about guns real quick. Uh, I have some very sad news to say that I have sold my J-Frame. I was at the range with it, and I was really struggling for whatever reason. It was biting me in the hand a little much, in the webbing in my hand. I don't know why. I kept trying to change my grip. It wasn't working. I was struggling with it, guys, and Monster usually doesn't struggle at the range, so I don't know what was going on. A couple more times at the range, same thing. I just I was struggling at 15 yards with it which 15 yards with the two inch barrel some people say well i shoot you know i keyhole you know one inch group at 300 yards with it that's fine but that's not what i do uh my glock i was getting more comfortable with this is my baby i will never sell this thing uh, you really can't find them in the uh, battlefield green anymore and yes that is loaded so i'm going to set it on the table i'm not going to unload it because guns you know treat every gun as if it's loaded anyway but it is loaded just so you know um I do fairly decent with my Glock 19. Uh, not too shabby. I'm definitely comfortable with it if I had to use it in a self-defense situation. So I, I like my Glock 19. But the one problem I have with my Glock 19, the only problem I've ever had with it, is the thickness of it. I have small hands, small to medium hands, and this is just maybe a little too thick for me sometimes. Shooting 300 rounds at a time can get you know a little cumbersome with the thick grip. So my buddy was there trying to convert me over to some M&Ps in 1911s. And the M&P... Eh. To me, it's just a different kind of clock, and I know I'm going to rifle the panties at some people, but it's just a polymer pistol. 
there's nothing more special about it than a Glock or a 1911. It is what it is. I did I did okay with it like I do with my Glock. Um, but then I was handed a 1911, and I was doing really good with it at 25 yards because the indoor range I go to for pistols is 25 yards, and I impressed the range officer that was there. And so I was like, wow, I, and I'm not trying to gloat. It's not what I'm trying to do. I imagine everybody, you know, who shoots a decent amount can do that. So I'm not trying to glow. I'm just trying to get the point across that I did good with the 1911. Better than my Glock. Surprisingly, better than my Glock. So I was like, you know what? I don't know if it's necessarily the 1911, but I think it's the single stack because my Glock 43, I could do the same. I was better accuracy with a Glock 43 at distance than with this. And I think it's because I have small hands, the slimness of the single stack, you know, frame. And I'm out there and I'm looking, there was this one amazing CZ and I'm gonna be getting this one CZ. I forget, I think it's the P10C. Fits in my hand better than any other gun. I'll tell you what, it's better than any other gun fitting in my hand. So I'll be definitely picking one of those up. But I was thinking, you know, I want something the size of the 19 but the thinness of a 43. Guy said, Glock 48. So here it is. It is the frame size of the 19 with the thinness of a Glock 48. Now it is thicker than a Glock 48 because it comes with two 10 round mags and these are not interchangeable with the Glock 43. They're just a little bit too thick to fit in the Glock 43. And this gun is unloaded. Gun is unloaded. So I'm gonna point it in safe direction, dry fire. Um, but it's, it fits my hands so much better than that 19. It does, it fits it so much better. And I have not shot it yet. So I'm interested to see how this will shoot. I haven't shot it yet. I don't have a holster yet for it. That's why I'm not carrying it at the moment. But with the new bag, I will show you what I'm going to do with it. But I grabbed that, and I will definitely be doing a range review of that. Again, I love my Glock 19, and I'm going to have to carry this until I get a holster for that. But I'll tell you what, this is my trusty girl. You know, this I can shoot her decently. I've shot her okay at 100 yards. I'm comfortable with this handgun. And, you know, that that's the whole thing is what you're comfortable with. This is the gun I'm really comfortable with. I'm hoping I can get really comfortable with this. But as you can see, the thinness difference, it is considerably thinner. But let's take the guns off the table. And let's talk about the bag. Now, real quick before I talk about the bag, this is the defensive ammo I shoot. We're going to need critical defense. The uh, 115 grain FXTs. These are what I shoot. These are my defensive loads. I like them. You know, for whatever reason, I can't find them for that price anymore. Uh, they're usually 26 bucks a box, but I find them for 20 20 well 2095 and I grabbed them so it is what it is but as you guys know this was the bag I was carrying the uh, 511 rush 12 this was the bag I was carrying for a while and it just got a little too cumbersome a little too big for me here and there so I was looking 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 and I found it perfect size bag the rush Moab 6 not the 10 not the 72 the six and I have pretty much incorporated everything from that bag into this except for a few things um, one thing I want to talk about is this thing from Amazon this tourniquet holder is junk the bottom thing just broke right off it didn't snap at all so I have to call them and get another one but I have the rat tourniquet in there I think it's the gen 7 some medical shears it has a top pouch up up here and I actually had to get some patches for work because I do private security and this came free with one of them. I didn't ask for it, but it's pretty cool. Uh, in here, oh, there we go, bumping the camera. Microfiber cloth, big lighter, and glucose tablets because I'm a diabetic. I get a low sugar, hypoglycemic, I have to take one. I do love these 511, uh, these patches. I forget exactly, it's the mossy oak skull. This is, I think, in my opinion, my favorite patch. I have to, I actually bought one and I got one for free. For whatever reason, I don't think the seller realized he sent it to me, but I kept it. Shh. But I have this one here, and I have this one on another bag, because I actually found the perfect hat, too, and I don't have it in here. It's that multi-cam hat I showed you with the Don't Tread On Me patches. I took the Don't Tread On Me patches off, put this one on. It's a condor hat. I know, a 511 patch on a condor hat. Ugh. But And that multi-cam hat is awesome, and I love it, but I'm like, I don't really like thick hats. And it's not thick by any means, but I saw that they had mesh hats, and I love hats with a mesh back so i bought a black one for work because I, again i do private security and i won't I, I hardly ever wear a ball cap and except for right now ironically i'm not wearing one because i'm in the house but anytime i leave the house I, I wear one and that mesh condor hat was phenomenally perfect so i grabbed the od one that one's supposed to be here this week my other patch is going to go on that 
So I love this pack. And look, I got 5.11 in OD. For whatever reason, I could never find them. But I found one in OD. This is my Christmas present for my wife. This and the, uh, that and the hat. So really cool little bag. I mean, I'll show you a little future on here. But in here, uh, it's a lot of the same stuff, really. It's I got some food bars in there, a little... I'll tell you what, from Walmart, I love this little tool. I use this all the time at work. Um, you know, I, I... And another thing, I shouldn't have mentioned this. In my EDC update, I don't carry that tactical pen anymore. I don't like it. Um, it's a little too thick because I do a lot of paperwork at work. Uh, I just realized that holding that thick of a pen for that long of a period, my hand was starting to cramp up. So I just keep it in the car as an extra glass breaker. I went back to these options. I don't think I'll ever switch pens to Pilot G205s, the extra fine tip. Carry a sharpie, some batteries, correction tape, you know, an extra one. I carry one of my work vest. Uh, Leatherman Wingman, still my favorite multi tool. I want to get the skeletal in green. For a knife, I switched it to the Kershaw, the Christmas one, because it's a nice little beater knife. It's assisted, it could do some utility tasks, you know, definitely be a tactical blade with that Tonto point, got serrations. It's got everything you need just to be a multi use knife. And there's no blade play in it. Spring assisted. It's it's everything you need just to be a multi-use knife. So centering is pretty decent, you know. Deep carry clip. I like it. It's a cool little knife. I don't think there's anything else in this pocket actually. In here, right here, between the two is a concealed carry compartment. It doesn't fit guns the best. Let me get my glove for you. It doesn't fit guns the best, especially if you have a holster in there. So it, it's, it's a little awkward. Once you get the Velcro cro closed, yeah, closed. Not racist, guys. Uh, once I get it closed, sorry, that just made me laugh. Uh, once you get it closed, it's fine. But you can get to, you can get to your firearm really quick in there. Um, I like it for that reason. In case I can't carry on person, I do have a. I'd rather have something off body than not have something at all. Like if I have to have a shirt tucked in. And I absolutely can't have a firearm on my person. At least it's here. So, I hate off-body carry. I don't agree with it. I don't like it. You should never do it. But because I would rather have a gun in here than not have a gun at all, that's my philosophy. So, there's that pocket there. Main compartment. It does clamshell open. I did, uh, Black Friday had a deal on Amazon tablets. Uh, the Fire tablet. So, I grabbed one. I think it was like 50 bucks for the 8-inch tablet with the case. So I grabbed the case, as you can see the color, you know, green, great little tablet. I don't know, I take it to work in case I'm bored, I want to throw a movie on or something, there's that. Um, here is my little tech pouch, got a little black web battery pack. It's not the best battery pack uh, by any means. I think I can check how much battery is on it, fully charged. Uh, it'll charge my phone, I think, at least twice full. It's not the best, but I wanted one that was really thin and lightweight, and this does that, and it fits really perfect in my uh, front pocket here. And these are just Max Edition little things, because for whatever reason, I can't find 511 ones. Got my uh, one for the tablet, phone, and the uh, night core, and then I have all my wall attachments in there, so. Definitely a cool little pack. I like these little Max Edition organizers. They're awesome, so there's that. Little boo boo kit, you guys have seen this before. Little boo boo kit, uh, trauma kit. I carry quick clot Israeli bandage chest seal because you can't use a tourniquet if you get shot in the chest. The chest seal will help with that, and it also has a back portion of it too. And this is this is the vented one because if you have pressure build up with blood, you want to be able to release that blood. And a lot of them you would have to you know peel a corner back, release a lot of that uh, built up blood. So this actually, if you can see, it has vents in it for that. So that's really cool. I definitely, you know, would look into Skinny Medic or Prep Medic. I think his name is Skinny Medic for uh, some stuff like this. He has some great videos. Uh, still carrying the baby wipes and the deodorant in there. I know someone yelled at me in the last video. What the fuck you carry deodorant? <sighs> because I work a half hour from home, you know, 8 to 14 hour shifts I've done. And you walk around a lot being security. You're going to sweat inevitably. I can't take a shower at work. So... I'd rather just wipe myself off with some baby wipes, throw on some deodorant, I'm good to go until at least I get home to get a shower. Judge me, I don't care. I mean, I don't, I don't see what it hurts to carry deodorant, but down here's the deodorant, up here's the baby wipes. I don't have anything in the sunglasses pouch, actually, surprisingly. I think I'm going to throw a lighter or something in there. I don't have anything in there, but it is a felted pouch. But that's... There is a pocket back here. 
but I don't like putting things back here because I hate sling bags and that's what this is. But I'm just gonna have to force myself to get used to it because it fits everything I want and it is the perfect size, absolute perfect size. So I'm just gonna force myself to like it. If this uh, cushion sling didn't move this part, which I guess you could just sew and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But if this part didn't move, it would be perfect. But I hate, I detest sling bags, guys. I really do. But I want to give this one a try. I think it's the perfect size and there's dog hair on it already. But whatever. Um, it has a pocket back here. I don't really like how the zippers are, but it's a cool little pocket. You could throw your firearm in there. But again, I don't like anything in here because then it bulges it out and it's a little hard against your back. So I like, another reason I like it is because of the... 511 does, I think, perfect carry handles. Just grab handles and go. I mean, there's no way you're breaking that at all. It's a cool bag, guys. I mean, I'm... <laughs> stay. I'm very impressed with it. I'm very impressed with what my EDC is changing into. I'm very excited to start carrying that Glock 48. Um, that Benchmade's working out pretty good. I actually don't regret getting it. But I think the Para 3 Lightweight Blacked Out from Knife Joy, or I don't think it's just from Knife Joy. I don't think it's an exclusive, but the Blacked Out Para 3 Lightweight with the black wire clip, I think would have done the exact same thing. I'm not carrying two pocket items anymore because at work I have to be really discreet with what I carry. I really would like to get a Dragonfly, so if anyone has an extra Spydeco Dragonfly and you want to send it my way, let me know. I'll give you my address. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I know it's been a longer video, but I wanted to sit here, talk to you, explain some of my gear, my gear situation, things like that. I appreciate you guys sitting back having a beer. Hopefully you've had at least three. I definitely know I need some. So take it easy, guys. Until next time, I'll let you guys know about that giveaway. See ya.